What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of a modern man. And today's video, I'm gonna be style breaking down Diplo style. So Diplo is a well diverse DJ, travels around the world. And this guy has a style that I'm excited to break down and share with you guys three characteristics that you guys can take away from his style to improve your own fashion. Let's go. What's going on guys? If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up so more people can see it. And let's begin this right now. So if you guys don't know who Diplo is, he's the American DJ. If you haven't seen his work, he is one third of Mad Decent and also his solo tapes are just as sick as well. So you probably heard this tracks like Lean On. And so first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is his suits. Diplo was the guy that I realized and I can identify with who has style within DJing and I was like dude this guy is so sick with what he does and to me it was like you never seen a DJ in a suit besides like Idris Elba who I kind of found out later down the road but I was like if I was gonna do DJing when Quink then that would be something and that would be the style that I would actually identify with and that would be kind of be like my uh my ego my aura or my the other side of you you know I was thinking that and Diplo was one of the guys where I was like dude this guy's style is so sick when it comes down to DJing so when it does come down to the suit game it doesn't matter what he's wearing but it's about how you wear it so right here he has like this aqua green full suit which is like you know the tie the shirt the jacket the blazer everything this is a great outfit when it comes down to performing wise and being in front of crowds and this is a great way of self-expression but at the same time want to kick it up a notch of what you wear or if you want to be a little more subtle you guys can do this so this right here he has a all black suit well it's black and white but let's just say it's a dark color but then he has like a printed uh, flower shirt underneath where you can guys can get those patterns uh, those nice patterns you get them at like zara h&m banana republic then he has a sock tie on top of that so if you're looking for something a little more simple than having the crazy amount of colors for your full suit go for something like this where it's kind of like the pop of color underneath with the sock tie so one thing i want to talk about with diplo is that when he wears suits he keeps it very simple so if you don't want to go for something that has the crazy colors you can always kind of go back to the state of like neutral tones or you can have a little bit of pop of color. So I just wanna show you some examples here. So one right here, he's wearing an all brown um, suit. And I like how it, this is like, I think it's like velvet actually, but that's a great look for him right there. And that's something where he's kind of like the full suited look as well. If you guys wanna go for something a little more different, there's always something like this you can do. Um, gray suit, you know, you got, the, you got the black loafers and he has a white shirt slick black hair, dyed hair, glasses as well. So there's different variations you can do with uh, your suits and kind of adding your own flair onto it too is the most important thing. So next thing I wanna talk to you guys about when it comes down to Diplo's fashion is that he plays characters in a sense of, he plays characters based on his personality or what he's gonna be dropping on an album. So right now he's in the stage of being like a cowboy and this is actually quite a sick look and it's intriguing at the same time because it makes you want to pay attention to what he's doing. So so that's a big thing when it comes down to fashion. It's about eye being eye catching at the same time, grabbing attention. He has the jewelry, he has the sunglasses, he has the hat, he has the cowboy boots. So this right here is a stage that he's going through within his music career at the same time putting out an album. And it's quite funny and it's quite cool. At the same time, he connects with it. So that's what makes it so exciting just to watch and be a part of. I love this because people who can do this and be able to have a self-expression for their fashion this push the envelope of what they can wear and this one right here is different because this one's more like hey i'm here i'm edgy i'm on the edge and you know don't pick a fight at me at the bar this is what that look is saying so right here he has the open collar the little necklace he has the, um, the buckwheat coming out of his mouth high-end glasses jewelry on his right hand so this is the guy you don't want to mess with at the bar at the same time, this is a part of his alter ego when it comes down to his DJing and dropping the album. And this is like a sick look to have. He has a breast, he has a waistcoat and he has a blazer, velvet red. You can't get anything better than that with a designer collar t-shirt. Yo, one thing I want to say about Diplo, man, like 
when it comes down to his style overall, he is definitely outside the box and he lives outside the box. And that's something that you can get when you travel the globe. At the same time, when you move around the world, you see different styles and you adapt to different changes. And it's honestly dope to see, man, because this is something that I want to get more into as my own fashion increases, but at the same time, inspire you guys to travel the world and actually pick up things from different cultures and apply them into your own fashion. And he's wearing an all black look. And this picture is sick, man, because he got the, obviously he's around culture, but at the same time, the way he, what he's wearing here is like a long black trench, black pair of pants, black pair of boots, and keeping it subtle, keeping it simple. And, you know, he's just being a part of culture here. So this is great to see him having this style in this type of weather conditions and this part of the world. And this look right here, yet again, Mandarin collar, like I mentioned before, guys. Mm -hmm. And then he has a nice necklace underneath. That's probably like a 30 or like a 36 inch. So that's kind of paying due to the heritage of where he's at around the world there. So this picture right here is him chilling in LA and it's quite typical for what he's wearing in LA. The Chelsea boots, um, the slim black pair of pants, oversized jacket. So here's another example of him with Martin Garrix in Trinidad and Tobago, where he is wearing a black cap. He has a green uh, shirt at the same time, black pair of pants that are tailored at the bottom. And you're gonna see how he styles it all together. Um, he's very comfortable with what he wears. And uh, Martin Garrix is on the side right Right there and um yeah man like i think that's just what's so sick about him as a person he's well diverse with his style at the same time keeps it edgy so yet again guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me breaking down diplo style if you guys picked up anything off this video hit the big thumbs up on this video and share the content with anyone you do know yet again thank you guys so much for checking out arcway a new direction of a modern man thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys soon peace